On behalf of the Green Group, Mr. Cohen Bendit, three and a half minutes, please. Representante. High representative, we need to be clear as things stand. For many Palestinians, and I've just come back from Ramallah and the Palestinian University, there are solutions which are no longer on the agenda. The Israelis do not want certain solutions. Israel is making it more and more difficult for us to get a two-state solution. We have rightly defended a two-state solution, but we need to be aware of the degree of frustration in Palestine. Now, we, like the socialists, support the initiative taken by President Abbas at the UN. And I think that what he said, saying that in the Middle East there are not too many states, there are too few. Israel is legitimate, but we need the Palestinian state too. I think that's something we can all sign up to. What I don't understand, her representative, is that you come along saying that we're sorry that Israel has now decided on this construction and then don't condemn it. We ought to condemn it and be clear. And secondly, even if we are in favor of the recognition of the state of Palestine now, we also think that we should make it clear that if this building work continues, then it will push European states into an immediate acceptance of the recognition of Palestine. We should play the same game with them as they play with us, because they say that they're willing to negotiate, and yet at the same time they continue with the occupation. So we need to engage in politics, Lady Ashton, and that's not about just praying. As things stand in Israel, there are hundreds of thousands of people who are opposed to Netanyahu's policies. The EU and we ourselves need to be sincere, and Mr. Tanak, let us not be cynical. The State of Israel was recognized unilaterally by the United Nations in 1947, and it was right, it was right. There was no negotiation with the Arab countries, and that was right. And Mr. Tanak, you tell us that Israel supports the Palestinians with water, Israel steals water from the Palestinians and sells it back to them. Is that what you mean by support? Well, we need to put a stop to this cynicism in Europe. If, as things stand, we do not stand up and say to the Israelis, your peace, the peace of Israel, Israel in the Middle East, or even the United States of the Middle East, in which everyone would have their place, is important, but Israel has to understand that it is in its own primordial interest to ensure that there is a Palestinian state. And Lady Ashton, you should say to the Israelis, Palestinian representatives such as Mr. Abbas, or such as the Prime Minister Fayyad, are irreplaceable. They won't have others. And if Hamas is against Mr. Abbas's initiative, because they know that that initiative is the only way for there to be a two-state solution, well, that's the real reason. So I think that your position is too weak. You have never said here how you can oblige the Israelis to negotiate. It's an incredible lie. They say they will negotiate without conditions because on the ground they are changing the conditions. They are currently continuing with the occupation. So let us say to the Israelis, either they put an immediate stop to settlements and to further building work or the European Union will immediately offer its support to the recognition of the Palestinian state now in the current meeting of the General Assembly at the UN. If you don't do that, Lady Ashton, then you will see that in six months' time there won't be any negotiations going on and in a year's time we will be where we are today. You will come back here and you will say it's important that the Israelis and the Palestinians understand that it is only through negotiation that they will achieve peace. Well, they will achieve peace, Lady Ashton, if we make it clear to the Israelis that in order to defend the state of Israel, too much is too much, enough is enough. If we speak in those terms, you will see things change. Thank you.